It's like a ray of light, beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. What would you do? Need advice? Call us up right now. 888-SHADE-45. What would you do? On Shade-45. Shade, shade All right, man, I'm here to help you. Call up right now. 888 Let's go to line one. We got Riley calling from the Yukon. Yo, Jude, long-time listener. How you doing, man? Fucking awesome. Yukon, that's like up. way up north, right? That's super Fuck. far. Fucking right, man. I always get through. I even got through on the Alaska Highway, but got cut off back when you were giving out glass dildos. Fuck, I needed that for my girlfriend, well, my ex-girlfriend right now. That's why I'm calling you. You were helping me out when I was in Ottawa pissing on chicks, so I know you got a good fucking, you know, I know you remember that story. You know, pissing no, on girls. You gave me some good people. advice back then. A lot of people pee on women, so I don't remember that, but you sound awesome. So what is your problem now? <laughs> well, I, I fuck a lot of chicks, and I usually just get over them, but I, I love this girl so hard, and I, fucking girls is not working for me. You know, I'm up in the Yukon. There's nobody, like, nobody. My town has 2,000 fucking people in it. My high school had more fucking people in that, you know? So, right, so there's nobody for me to fuck. So is how do I get over this girl? I need the best advice. Is she in the Yukon with you, or is she far away from you? Well, she's from far away, but she's stuck in my town because she's sponsored here trying to get a Canadian citizenship. So she's here for two and a half more years at that fucking bartending job. I can't go there anymore because I lose my fucking head because I loved her so fucking much, dude. What the fuck why, do I do? Why don't you try to work it out? It just didn't work. Uh, no, it didn't answer. work. You know, it was just sex, you know? It was just purely just sex. She's she's from, like, England. So, I don't know, the don't stereotype that I she's thought... a dirty English whore. I don't know. Like, <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? Look, man, yo, if... If it was just sex, then you shouldn't love her this much. That's the thing. I got like a condition. I'm like I'm addicted to sex, and it was that good. Like, it, it, look, look, you really like her. Quit acting like it's just sex, or maybe you feel rejected. Maybe you're used to dissing yeah. chicks, and and you don't, and and this one doesn't want you, and you don't know what to do with it. Now you're all fucked up. You need to just, just sit with it. it. You can't fuck the pain away on this one, bro. Uh. Take a, take a deep look in the mirror and figure out what the fuck it is. Sounds to me like you get a lot of your self esteem from knocking chicks down from fucking broads, and uh, this one doesn't want you anymore, and you don't want to do with it. Yeah, I gotta accept the rejection, I guess, eh? Yeah, accept that rejection, accept it, sit with it, feel it. That's I'm gonna, all I'm you can do. Be better from this, that's, that's for sure, you know. Thanks, Jude. I don't know. Really you might, you, you might be, you might be damaged forever. I don't know, but like, this is it. Get used to it. <laughs> Good luck. Let's go to uh, Tommy from Ohio. Tommy, what's going on, man? What up, though, Tommy? Hey, I appreciate you taking my call. Cool, man. What's the, what's so, the problem? So this is what's going on. So I, I kept hearing horror stories about a lot of my friends. They would take their girl off for Valentine's Day, and they would just be a bitch about it. I'm like, man, I'm glad my girl ain't like that. You know what I mean? Well, then it fucking happened. So I, you know, I was, I ordered her some flowers. I paid the extra that had the shit delivered on a Sunday. And I was trying to get, like, couples massages arranged. You know what I mean? Because we've been together for almost, like, three years. Like, I don't have to impress this girl at this point, but I still want to make her feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, long story short, I didn't, I didn't know I had to call, like, a month in advance to get the shit booked up. So it's just the whole plan just crumbled. I was like, well... I can still salvage it by spending the day together, at least. You know what I mean? Just enjoying each other's company. So, we so went, wait, hold up. You know, so you we sent you, lunch. All right, hold up. So you just sent her flowers. You sent her flowers, and you're taking her to lunch. Right. So I'm I'm taking her to lunch, and we were gonna go get a go to a movie after. And you got flowers and, uh, too. Say what? And you got her some flowers. Right. Right. Okay. And so we're sitting there during lunch, and she's just, I noticed that she's just got a fucking attitude the whole time. And I asked her, I'm like, hey, you know, what's going on? And then she had the nerve to be like, I mean, I just feel like this just isn't enough. And it was just like the most ungrateful she shit I had ever seen her do. What did she get you? A flask. All right. <laughs> and so then I was just like, man, I'm about to just, like, I really should have just dropped her ass off at home. You know what I mean? But she was like, well, if you do that, then we're done. I was like, well, what the fuck? Like, so then we're just going to be hanging out all day, and I don't even want to talk to you now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you spoken to her since? I mean, yeah, but and I, I'm, I essentially just told her, like, you know, what you did was fucked up, and, like, I just I just wanted some space. Like, I don't really know, like, whether I should just 
just end it and just move on and just chalk it up as like her to showing her true colors or what? I don't know, bro. Like, look, man, here's the deal. Just for for Valentine's Day, if you if you are if some people they got it where them and their girl don't really acknowledge Valentine's Day, but if you are acknowledging right. Valentine's Day, if you haven't if you haven't straightened it out where you're not fucking ignoring this shit, you have to do better than her. It's a it's a right. day for women. It's a right. day for women. Women get your little bitsy bitty bullshit, and then the dude fucking takes care of them. That's usually how it goes. Right. You didn't do that good. <laughs> lunch, yeah, lunch, I mean, and some flowers. Admit, yeah, I mean, I lunch can, and I some can. flowers. Try fucking harder, bro. Scramble a yeah. bit. All right. So then she got an attitude. Granted, she should. She probably should have been grateful. So that's how I'd approach it. Be like, look, man, this is what I this is what I wanted to do for you. It didn't work out. My bad. But I swear to God, right. if you cut into me like that again, motherfucker, like we're gonna have a fucking problem. Right. And that's what I try. I to want it. Or, you know, be, I, quiet. I be, quiet. Know. be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Tell her, like, look, man, this is what I want to do for you. It didn't work out, but I need you to be grateful for whatever the fuck I do for you. We good? Are we good? Are we fucking good? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Acknowledge your side of it, but also address her not being fucking grateful. The problem, too, is there's so much pressure like these women, look, all they do is, what did he get you? Oh, he got me this. And what did he get me? He gave me this. And he gave... There's all this peer pressure to fucking get the nicest shit. Right. And what'd you do? Take her to fucking macaroni grill? You know what I mean? Like, yo, dude, come on. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I mean, I took her to a nice place. You know what I mean? It wasn't all right. shit. You know, it wasn't a dive bar, but. Yeah. Applebee's and the fucking some flowers. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Come on now. All right, Tommy. You you see how it is. You, there's a way out of this. And maybe she right. is an ungrateful cunt. You, um is, is there other is she is this the only time she behaves like this or is this or does she do this a lot? I mean, not a lot. Like that's that's what right. fucked me up about it cuz I was All right, like, then was, then, then this expect- is All right, then there you go. There you go, Tommy. Then this this is uh this doesn't always happen. And you know, don't dump her off of that shit. Let's go to Andrew in Nashville. Andrew Hey, what's up, Jude? What up, though, man? What's your problem? So the funniest shit right now, I'm actually pulled over on the highway because I was about to lose you going through some mountains, and the cop just pull, he's pulling over right now, and he's backing up, making sure I'm okay. Yeah, you, did you, are you but, telling me you just need to talk on a radio show? All right. You want to yeah, call me later? No, 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 no. Here, I got okay. a problem. I got a problem. So, All right, what's your problem? Um, I'm going to have to tell this cop everything's okay, though, in just a second. This girl... <laughs> She broke up with me, um, and she hit me up the next weekend and came and slept over. You know, okay. I, she was hurting through the breakup, but, man, I, I'm trying to work with her back, but, you know, she she deletes she deletes my number, and she, she, she doesn't want to get back together. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, it was probably a span of six months, seven months or so. Yeah. And, uh... You know, man, she just, you know, I, it was still like, you know, working some comfort out in a relationship and all. What that, is the man. what is the problem, dude? What is the problem? You got a cop man, coming she, up on you. You're rambling. She she doesn't want me, man. She doesn't want me. She deleted my number. Okay. That's um, it. Um, you know, she there it is. she has she dumped me and dude, she came and slept with me the next weekend and then did the same people do that all the time people do that all the time i I don't know how many times i've mind fucked a poor girl by like dumping her and then fucking her again because i i'm appreciate i was going through service man thanks sorry dude (laughs) just talking to cops all right yo man look dog i don't know how many times i've like dumped abroad and then fucked her because I was lonely or feeling insecure. She did the same shit with you. And it, it mind fucks you, but she doesn't want you, dog. Now, is is this a good approach, man? This is what I did. You know, move on. Changed. No, just move on. Okay. No, be quiet. Move on. Just move on. <laughs> I She's got She's done you, with you, bro. I got you. Yo, move on. It's over. I said, no, I Andrew, got you. Andrew, she don't want you. Get it through your greasy head. She doesn't want you. 
And here's the other deal. She might come around to fuck you again. And mm-hmm. if you can't if you can't fuck her without like without it hurting a piece of your heart, don't do it. Okay. I got it. And maybe it, you know? maybe eight months away, a year down the line when you forgot about her ass, she'll come back again and then you can get her. Even even oh, now if she, even now if you get her back, the power dynamics fucked. She's gonna have your ass in fucking panties, dude. I have you. Ah uh, man, I see. I see. You know, I I think I'm at a benefit from that kid in Yukon. You know, have you ever been to Nashville? No, nah, never. Of, a lot of beautiful women around, man, and it's not all. Yeah, man, you'll be good. Look, you'll you'll be I good, know. man. Like you ain't got no kids with her, you'll be fine. Kuna Matata, yeah. you got this. Well, all right, let's go. Let me suggest though, take a visit to nope. Nashville. Some nope.